All right, so in this video, we're just gonna give a really quick introduction to the margin of error. So I'll kind of explain what the margin of error is. So in the last video on CLT, which is the central limit theorem, we saw that sigma x, which is the sample standard deviation, so I'll say sample SD is equal to the population standard deviation. I'm just gonna say pop SD divided by the square root of n. So this is this box here. Um, and that divided by square root of n that comes from, or it accounts for the margin of error. So the margin of error means, so when we're taking a sample, we can never be completely sure if the sample reflects the real population, because there's always a chance that it could be wrong. So we always have to include a margin of error, which kind of just says we could be a little bit wrong on both sides, um, either too big or too small. So that's what the margin of error is, and it's basically, it's dependent on the sample size. So margin of error is equal to E, which is equal to one over the square root of n, where n is our sample size here, yeah? So that's sort of it, just saying that, it, so say this, I'll kind of show here how the sample size affects the margin of error. So if the sample size is 30, then one over square root of n, the margin of error is gonna be 18.26%, which is a decent, decent size. If you're 18% wrong, you can be quite wrong. If the sample size is 100, then the margin of error is 0 0.1 or else 10%. The margin of error is if the sample size is a thousand, then the margin of error goes down to three point one six percent. And if the margin of error is ten thousand, then sorry, if the sample size is ten thousand, then the margin of error goes down to only one percent. So as you can see, as the sample size gets bigger, the margin of error gets smaller. And this sort of makes sense because if we only take, say, if we only ask two people a question and we try to say what the rest of the population thinks because of that you're obviously leaving yourself open to be wrong. But if you ask a thousand people or 10,000 people, the more people you ask, the less and less likely you are that you're gonna be wrong or that the answer they give is gonna be wrong. So that's just a brief intro to the margin of error. Um, we're gonna talk about it later when we're gonna look at confidence intervals and population proportions, All right? So yeah, that's it for now. In the next video, we're gonna talk about population proportions. So we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.